Hey everybody, how's it going? <clears throat> Sorry. So I am playing American Dad Apocalypse soon, and I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with it. Uh, it's a shelter game, but it's also um, like collection RPG and player versus player tournaments. It's got pretty much everything. So just looking at it here on your home screen. Uh, looks like a typical shelter game, you know, like follow a shelter, unearth, that sort of thing. And uh, I've been playing it for a day. I'm up to level 15. Uh, it just came out yesterday or the day before. I had it pre-registered, so. You can see it's just starting. And I did spend $3 uh, to support it. You know, most games all buy that, you know, the $3 Founders thing or the $3 uh, package where you get, like, your extra builder, which most games have. They always give you one builder for free. And, uh, but as you know, like most of my games, I don't really spend money on games. So what I'm doing now, just go over the basics for this video, and I'll do a few battles and show you where I'm at and where I'm going so if you install this game definitely add me you're definitely welcome to join Children of Chaos like every other guild in all the mobile games uh, and it is it's a fun game and if you like American Dad well that's just a bonus so you know you start off with just your house and right now I'm popping the bubbles uh, that gives me happiness for my Rogers, the aliens. Uh, that's your team. And how they break it down is in these categories. So you can see, let me go back here. I'll show you. So this is your, there's your situation room. It's like your Oval Office. Uh, this is my fighters. And you start off with three, but I just opened up my fourth fighter because I'm on level four of Rogers' place. So as you can see, I've got level 30, 20, 20, these are fighters. So it's your warrior class. Then you've got engineers, you got cooks, you got bankers. Uh, right now I'm upgrading my my mint, which is where you get your cash up there. Then you got your food and energy. And so you get cooks. So let's look at one of my cooks. So let's look at this guy over here. So in my inventory over here, but what we want to look at is these stats over here. So they all go up in, it's a gun, so you have guns, uh, gunslingers and warriors. But right now I'm in the, the kitchen. You can rename all your characters too, which is nice. So I'll rename pretty much everybody. So you can see he's got a four as a chef, so that's your bonus for cooking. So you can see the training there. And also the star class, obviously. And you have to spend shiny turds which is like the real money thing. So I only have 427, so I can't really upgrade that stuff because the achievements... Whoa, what was that for? Oh, level 24, level 13. So in my kitchen, you equip them. So instead of a weapon, you want to equip stuff uh, that'll make them a better cook. Same with the bankers. So when you get uniforms, which is your armor, um, and you got your jewelry, necklaces, lucky charms, all that sort of thing. So just say, for example, I've got a uh, chef's outfit on him. Oh, and everybody you have in each room, you can easily get to with these buttons down at the bottom down here, these little arrows. So I've only got two cooks, and I can have four, I think, but I'm training people right now. So another cook's outfit, here's a basic one, and they do the same color scheme, you know, gray is like the common, as you can see there right now, he's wearing an epic, so I don't want to equip this because he'd go down to 100, where I'm at 374 with the epic. So this cook here, he's got, base. so yeah, he's even got better stuff there too. So until my guys are done training, I'll just leave my stuff in the inventory and this is, I'll never use this, so you can break apart stuff, and that gives you cubes, and that's what you can craft with. So you need 10 cubes, uh, so it's common. The green is like the rare 
or wait, is it rare or uncommon? Sorry, then blues rare, and purple is your epics. Purple is typically always epic, and there is a gold for legendary that I do not have yet. I couldn't wear it if I wanted to because you have to be certain in certain levels. I see this ring level 13, but I don't want to wear it because I'm wearing a food ring on him. This is for fighting. So, and these little bubbles I'm popping here, just make sure that all my Rogers are happy and you get the bonus. So, I need money, but I won't be getting very much money until my mint is done building. So, there's the clan, typical CFC. So, join it. Everyone's welcome. Have fun. It's always the same message I leave. Uh, Finn joined me, and also. Uh, add me as a friend in the game. If you're on Facebook with me, you can send and receive gifts. Um, another cool thing, so they've also got typical campaigns, solo campaigns. And let's just do a couple battles. So not only is there uh, campaigns, there's regular fights, but you see these little houses. Um, and there's also alien ships. I finished all my alien ships. Probably should have waited so I could show you guys. But... Not only on these maps, even after you finish them, you can see these little these icons, and those are real world, real world players. So I've got 80 power, he's got 57, so let's scout him out. And I've crafted some combat powers, so let's, uh, let's add an attack. I pretty much beat him, I'm just showing you anyway. It takes five minutes to craft these. So there we go, added an extra power. And I'll attack. Oh, I think I actually exited it without using it. We'll see. It'll be at the bottom. Um, there's your rewards. If you lose, I'll lose 14 trophies, 20 if I win. There's how much cash he has and stuff I can steal from him. And you have to defend your house just like I'm doing to him. So it's 5,000 food, which is no problem right now. So there's my four guys. Oh, I did use it, so I'll use it there. That was like a shot on his whole team. You can there's health. I've only got level one. So there's my team, how much they got hurt. You know, all his guys are dead. Uh, what I took from them. Uh, you can also go to the stats screen and, and get more in depth on each battle. So, you know, we were pretty close level-wise, but he hasn't got his fourth guy yet. So that was a pretty easy one. And as you can see, I didn't pay for the premium package because I don't like paying to play. I'd rather grind it out and win that way. Or not win, but build my characters up. You know, it's not much fun when you just buy your way through a game, in my opinion. Nothing wrong. If people want to spend money, awesome. But I like to grind it out. And so you can see now they're all healed again, so I can fight again with no problems. So let's just do a regular campaign one, because I'm about to save Haley. So let's, oh, let's move that out of the way. Let's go save Haley. Oh, I got a couple more to go. I got four levels. But these will be pretty quick. So there's my team. And, oh, before I, uh... Add that you can see the rewards they have chests in this game just like you know shards and chests in other games uh, which I always love everyone loves opening shards or chests and whatnot it's always a fun part of the game this is just for a common chest though whoa he killed me super quick how'd that happen but you don't lose your character just has to heal and you'll see it again in Roger's place oh there's Haley oh did I save her no I still have a couple levels give us some time two more levels and oh so let's get this done let's make everybody happy oh training's ready food's ready my energy's full for now so 
I'll claim that. So those are campaign rewards in Chapter 3, which I'm almost done, and that'll fill right up. And this game also has daily quests. Um, I've already done four tournaments. The tournaments in this are super cool. It puts 15 players together, and you do five rounds of player versus player. You can actually pick who you want to fight out of the 15 players it po pools you with. And uh, we'll do one of those in a sec at the end. Um, now, this one I don't have because I don't have any Facebook friends yet to send to receive gifts to. And so 10 invasion points. Okay, this is the one that just reset. So we just did an invasion. That was the houses on those maps. Uh, the one before the campaign battle. And the keys here, as you can see, uh, that'll get you the chest in these daily quests. So as you can see right up here, I've got 79 and 300. And that'll get me one of these uncommon chests. And the higher your level, the more of these contents will pop up. So, so you might get 3 to 5, 1 to 2, 1 to 3. And as you level up, it'll go from 3 to 5 to like 4 to 6, 2 to 4, etc., etc. And then from uncommon... And as you build up more quests, and you see 15 hours, it gets better and better and better. Uh, then you've also got this event feed, uh, which is pretty cool. It starts at the beginning of the game, and as you go along and save people, your friends and family start to... It's like your Facebook feed, right? So, and you can see the guys that I beat, and you can go right into their, their messages. And once you beat them, they kind of become your friends on this event feed, this fake Facebook friend sort of thing. And uh, let's open our chest. Um, that's sort of the campaign version. Ooh! This was a common chest. Nice. So I got an engineer outfit. That's a good one. So if I want to use someone with an energy weapon, uh, which I don't have equipped right now. Nice. I'll just share that to our... Uh, I'll share that with the clan. And, wow, that was a wicked, yeah. and I got 450 food, nice. So you can see right there, and I also got a regular one. There's the, you need to be level 18 to wear that, and you need to be level 20 to wear that. Uh, and then you can break it down just specifically by category too. So it's easier to look at your inventory. And... Also, there's the clan. You can share, pick what you want to do. Like, you can ask for energy, food, money, and they can share it with you. You can share it with them. Um, but we just started, so I've, there's only one person that joined. Um, and there's where it showed the Tooth Fairy set that I shared. Let's see, oops. Is that the little... Oh, sorry, my bad. That's my, my message. And... Uh, So, let's, my builders are building, what's this down to, one hour, seven minutes, and anytime you're building something, once you get down to the 10 minute mark, you can do it for free, otherwise, you know, you see speed up is 45 shiny turds, I have 427, or you can buy it for real money, but we're not doing that, and then so, Here's all the things you can buy, which is wicked. You can see all this stuff is still locked for me because you have to upgrade your house. Um, this situation room, sorry, I need level 6 to even open up any of these. But just like in regular like, follow shelter, so I could buy another mint. And just like follow shelter, that's why these are double rooms. So my mint right now is a double room. And you buy the third one, and it becomes that merged one big room for the extra bonuses. So if anyone's played Follow Shelter or uh, what's the other one called, like Unearthed or Under Earth, or I forget. Um, typical shelter games, you know, once you get the same room, you can merge them to get extra bonuses and stuff. And, you know, here's some single rooms. Like, I need another one of these. But my energy, I need, that's why I'm upgrading my energy storage because I have so much I just I can't hold anymore and to even remotely start to buy any of the bigger stuff I need way more um, see like right there is a million five in cash oh wood I have not over, even opened up wood yet um,
Nice. Uh, oh, right. Let's go back to the market. I was showing you. So the sawmill, oh, that's where the woods comes from. Produces wood. So once I upgrade my situation room, I can get that. Oh, I can even see that there. Wood storage, electricity, uranium mine, food storage. Okay, then there's also training rooms. Um, cook training, banker training, training lab. That's probably for energy weapons, I'm guessing. Train, oh, charger class. I don't have those. That's cool. Okay. And so then there's also support. Stairs, obviously, that's like the middle elevator. You can put them anywhere to join rooms, but right now I just have them in the center there. Uh, U.S. Research, or sorry, U.S. Research, UFO, uh, Combat Powers. That's what I used on that one battle a minute ago where I had to hit everybody. So then we also got an armor workshop, jewelry workshop, cloning room, which is where you make babies, just like the other shelter games. You put a male and a female together. And depending on your level, and here's my cloning room here, right here. Uh, depending, so it's only level one, so I can do two couples at a time. But since I'm only level one, I can only make like maximum a three star baby. Uh, like right there, the classes. Um, but the last two I made. So I think I have them in training. Yeah, see, I got a one star there, which kind of sucks. And the other one is my two star. And I haven't renamed these ones yet. Uh, I'm not sure what they're going to be. He's She has a basic bonus on energy and banking. And then, you know, the gun for the warrior gunslinger class goes up in, the, in this training room upgrade these ones you have to I'd have to build those specific ones that I just showed you and so then there's packs but that's real money stuff except for these ones where you watch an ad for 30 seconds and you get a chest and see zero for five so you do that five times a day and mine's gonna reset in four hours um, you'll get these chests and so miscellaneous stuff uh got that yet what's he do purchase for three days 15 days uh oh he gathers resources for you cool cool see i just started playing too so i'm still learning tons of stuff um you can see like 129 bucks like i don't know all games have these same packs with the same cost and just I can't justify spending that. I'd rather buy an Xbox game like, for example, the new uh, Ghost Recon uh, Breakpoint. I played the open beta. So it came out now on the Thursday or whatever. Um, that's what I would spend 80 bucks on, not a mobile game. But that's just me. So why don't we now, let's see, what else? I was actually, oh, right, 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 the battles. I want to save Haley. I want to open up Haley since we're recording and I'm starting to get the hang of this game. So 80 and 43, no problem. Let's add, a, let's add one of those again. Let's add another boomer. Why not? And then I'll show you how to craft them. It's easy peasy. And then, oh, I'll show you how to craft weapons because I, I broke a couple down. Boom. So you see how that works? The other one I have is the health, which will, you know, heal, obviously. And if I want to get any of the other ones, I have to level up my... Oh, some clones are going after Haley. Who knew? Sounds like maybe it's time to cut our losses. Okay. Oh, got a chest. Actually, you know what? I'll just hold on to that for a second. I'll open up a couple all at once. And food. Yeah, just need food. So let's finish this one off because I only got two battles to go. Three. So it won't take long. I'm not going to add a an extra attack on it because I should beat these no problem. 
so. Nice, nice. Oh, I didn't let them fully heal. That's why it's so low. I forgot. They heal pretty quick, though. Yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. It's been a while since I made a game video. I posted a Rocket, a Rocket League clip. But, uh, serious. By all means, please bring your wife here. Tell me what shape uh, does she have? Okay. Um, oh, got a quest. Oh, see, now he just posted on my feed. If one is listening to them, oh my god, that's hilarious because, you know, they always say, no, it doesn't, but yeah, they do. And I know people say, no, your phone doesn't, but actually it's time for another video. I actually have something really cool to actually show you something kind of scary. I mean, but if you're not hiding anything, who cares? Um, Seriously, so what do I need there? Oh, chapter three, and then I'll be done. The campaign quest, I can start a new one. The training's done, let's get that going. And can't get any money in. Oh, food, yep. So I got two chests, I'll open. Oh, I got an achievement. That's how you get the shiny turds, too. Or you can spend real money, which, like I said, I think three times already, I just can't justify doing. Wow, I need a lot to do my next clan level. Okay. So let's finish this off. Oh, we got one more level. Oh, one more actually. So two more levels. So attack. He's at 45. This should be no problem. Oh, and tomorrow on Monday. Let's turn that down. Uh, for everyone who plays Raid, I don't know if you saw the notice, but on Monday, tomorrow, October the 6th, is it tomorrow? Or 7th? Uh, if you have any sacred shards, it's a uh, double chance to get a legendary. So I will be making a Raid video of my shard openings tomorrow, because I do have some sacreds to open. Or at least one. Okay, I quit. Okay, last level, even working for the collectors. Of course, their dental plan is exceptional. Cards on the table. It's my husky wear, okay. It's to hide a dead tooth. I'm very self-conscious. Say no more. I totally understand. I can't do his voice. Um, so I got three chests. So some more stands. Everyone's happy. Happiness level. So if I want to go any higher, I'd have to buy the premium pack. But no thanks. So I'll grab the food while I'm here. So all right, let's save Haley. It's the last one. And then the alien ship should open, which I was saying earlier, besides doing PvP, you can also do these special alien ones that go to the campaigns you've already finished. And you get bonuses and rewards for that too. So he's at 46, so this is easy peasy. Let's see how he does. Oh, I should have brought a weapon on this one. Now this is one I actually should have brought. Uh, combat bonus is what I was where I was looking for, but no problem there. And I got Haley back. Ooh, ooh! What does this ring do? It's an energy damage. Nice. What's this samurai set? That's for the warrior types. Oh, ten thousand health, wicked. And a new gunslinger. So let's get Haley and upgrade our team. All right. Haley's back. Uh, no, thank you. Thanks for saving me, Dad. You're welcome. The Smith family back again. I can finally kick back and relax. What about the rest of Langley Falls? There's still an alien apocalypse out there. Haley, you say that like it's our first alien, or it's our first apocalypse. Those people are doomed. If the Smiths, that matter, everyone knows that. You've completed an achievement. Nice. Some more shiny turret. Ooh, 40. Very nice. What did that say? What did that say? Oh, Google Play. Okay. Um, grab that. There she is. Oh, I got a new trophy, didn't I? 
New trophy. Nice. Oh, I don't think we've actually looked at that, but I can't mount another trophy until actually I'll take away uh, this. That's just the stereo. Yeah, let's take that out. Let's put it on the mask. Put the mask up there for now. Cool. And there's Haley in her room. Some quests. Some cash. Ooh, nice. Oh, check it out. Damn. What's this ring do? Another energy weapon. I mean energy. And this is for an engineer. Energy charge. Once in a while it restores 614 plus 269 energy charge. On an ally's health for four seconds. Have to be level 18. Very nice. Oh, nice claim. Claim. You can have both. You can add me's. You can add more me's to your me squad. Awesome. Weapons workshop. Nice. Oh, they gave me a ton of XP. Okay, so for the rest of the new campaign, I got to upgrade my mint to level 5, which I'm in the process of doing. I got another hour to go. Arsenal of 2. Build a banker training room. Awesome. That's to upgrade your calculators like I was showing before. Those are the specific training rooms. I don't have any of those yet. Upgraded UFO lab and win victory lessons from Area 51 Waypoint. And we got a new event feed. Nice, very cool. All right, let's open these chests. Nice, this is the one that's an engineer. Okay, critical hit, and then once in a while restores 469. Now that plus zero there, that'll change if I add this to someone who has an energy bonus ring or weapon or armor, etc. So it all stacks, which is always nice. Uh, let's open the next one. Ooh, nice machine gun. Gunslinger common outfit. Eh. No biggie on that one. But again, these these are just common chests. So need to be level 18. It does 494. Now let's see my gunslingers. Oh, and that other armor too. Right, right, right. So, there's Bouncer OC. Oh, right, the Samurai. Oh, this is so much better. Now, do I want to give it to him or... So, I have two warriors right now. Oh, yeah, I was saying uh, gold, but it's orange for the legendary weapons, not yellow. Okay, so not her, but her armor. What about this new Gunslinger armor? Is it better? It is. Damage-wise, and instead of critical, she could get, when taking damage, 23% chance of reducing the damage done by enemies by 50%. <sighs> Ooh, yes, let's equip that one. So you can see she's 22703 combat power, and I'll equip this one, 22707. And I like that new, oh, yes. So let's see. Level 20. Oh, energy. Oh, but she doesn't have an energy weapon. What about the next ring? That's just critical. Oh, wait. Something's wrong. That's not what I, It's this one. Ah, dang it. So energy damage. And what about this one? Oh. Ah, energy damage. Dang it. Maybe I should make an energy. But before we change. Oh, I've got a necklace. Is it any better? The one she has on is armor and health. That's energy, you know? And the weapon's definitely not going to be as good as my legendary. But let's go to my other gunslinger. And this one is four star. Tannis. Oh, she? Yeah, she's only a three star. Maybe I should switch. Oh, and he's level 30. Man, I should give Tannis OC the good weapons, man. He's got way better stats. 
All right. Well, she was at 22.707. So let's see what happens when we change level 30. So let's move this over here. So equip that. Oh, look. She was 22.707. Even with just the weapon, he is so much. But he's four star level 30. So. I should have done this a while ago. Now, I see you don't want to give him the warrior because he's a gunslinger. So you always want to watch for that. But this this one was damage. And when taking damage by 10 seconds, this was the one that was the best of the best. 25, 143. Nice. Now it was the critical hit. I can give that to someone else. Now his ring. I can definitely change to that. Oh, and there's the new warrior. Oh, it's an engineer weapon. That's an energy weapon. I thought it was a warrior weapon. Add some energy. Where? Oh, here it is. Damage and critical hit. Where he's wearing damage and dodge. Actually, the one he has on is better. Yeah, I like to have in the dodge instead. But the necklace, though. That's health for 205, armor and health. Oh, boom, boom. So you can see his armor's it's catching up to all the new armor that I just put on him. And I don't have any of these yet. So all good. 26, 204, what a difference. Let's go to my other gunslinger and give her everything I took off. That's energy. I wonder if I should make her... As an energy but see she's only a two here so the bonus isn't going to be that high but the training labs are coming there's the charger okay oh here everyone's getting upset with me let's just train and get this stuff oh that one's full and we're at 46 minutes for the bang here I got lots of money, so I'm not going to speed that up. Okay, now she needs, you know what? Oh, man, I got some of these really cool weapons, though. So 574 and extra damage. This one, oh, wait, what was that? Five, 574 and extra damage. This one's 44 and 60 minutes and 10. It's dealing 110 damage, which is... Oh, she needs to be level 20. I need to jump her up a level to me. So you know what? Maybe I... And I got this rare armor here with energy. And it only needs to be 20. All right, let's see what we get here. So princess her out there. And I can wear one of these new rings for energy. So 3649, 3649, 301 dodge. So that one for sure is better, but it's level 14. This one's energy 4764 with a dodge or critical or critical 410. Dodge 316, critical. So just for the moment, let's put that one on and energy charge. Let's put that on. Now, here's a good energy weapon. 306, energy charge. Once in a while, restore. See how that, remember how there was a zero, and now it's 2,482? Because of all the stuff you put on, it stacks. And that's for an ally's health. See, and I don't have a healer. So, actually, let's try this. And 22447. So, even with all these hand-me-downs, she's actually better than she was when I had all the good stuff on her. And I can train her 10 more levels. And that's hilarious. And I don't know why I have her name as Chaos. I must have been thinking I was labeling one of my other Rogers. So what should we name her? How about, uh, oh, Chris. Because Chris is one of my all-time favorite friends that I met playing Dragon Age. And then we play raid together and she's on discord with me and facebook and she's super cool and so does Beggy k uh hi girls 
and Rinka. You guys are super awesome. They all play Raid with me. Um, so there we go. We got Chris. I got to make a screenshot later. Or, hi, Chris, if you're watching this video. Um, okay. So I remember to train her now. It's for the warrior classes. There's Death and Bouncer. Right. Now, it seems like I could probably use a better weapon with him, right? And a ring. What, what, what's he using there? Damage and critical. Oh, these are all energy rings, aren't they? And that you can use energy too with. Uh, see, 18641. There's a 19370. See how much it jumped up just by putting an energy ring? Now, he's a warrior, charges sort of thing. So if I got a really good ring that had like critical damage and just damage or armor, I would switch it back because the energy is stacking with him is helping with the armor and stuff. Whereas you kind of want to stack it all in the same category to really get most effectiveness out of your characters. Uh, whose armor was this? A warrior armor. And right now, Oh, I have Gunslinger armor on. That's not good. He's a, a warrior. Okay, let's fix that. And this one's 10,000. And it's only level 19. So critical would go down. Armor would jump right up. But do I want to give that armor to my other warrior? Who's better with the... So 19. And then he's at 17. And he's wearing, eh, he's wearing old armor. I got that near the very beginning of the game. There's Gunslinger that I could give to the other one. So as for the Warrior, now that ring he's using, oh, what about, before I put the armor on, if I can find a ring, so energy damage and dodge, or, oh, there's another dodge. Energy damage and critical, so 1707, 1814, and 19. Okay, let's give this armor to him. To 2631. Nice. I can't believe I don't have a better weapon, though. These ones are energy. Uh, it's engineer, engineer. Oh, what, about, what was that ring? Damage and critical. Right, right, right. Uh, well, that's 7,000. What is this armor he's wearing? 7,143, even though it's rare armor. 20% is reducing damage done. 70% reducing damage done. Oh, yeah. But the armor is 952. It's only down about 60 points of armor. But it's got a bonus energy armor. How much of a difference would that make? Oh, 300 points. It's not bad. What's his necklace do? Oh, that's just health. And that's just armor. What about your necklace? That's energy. So what would 18 for? 18.5. Okay, even better. Everybody's getting an upgrade here. Now what about your weapon, which is 506 compared to... 432 and he's the stronger of the two so why don't we unequip that and give it to you because 216 nice much better and then now for a standalone weapon I will use that one and yeah, it's probably the best one. He's down to 17. Energy armor, level 15. I'm going to deconstruct that and get the parts. I'm going to deconstruct this and get the parts. 370. These aren't going to be any better. 380, no. Hockey stick, 326, no. I should craft... A better and this is for an engineer as well as for the battery battery guys um, 
So for my battery guy, how is his suit doing compared to the others? Damage and critical, energy and dodge. Let's just throw that on him. Now, let's go down here and check out where'd that suit go. So there was this one. That's not the one I was looking at, though. There was a better one. Here it is. 110. And that one just does health with an energy charge. This one will... Oh, my goodness. But considering per hour... Nice. You look ridiculous. And this can is production. And these other ones in training will go into that battery room. Because this room can hold two. Two people, I think. Oops. Sorry. Didn't mean to keep doing that. So my combat power now is at what? It was at 80 something before. 87, 806. Very nice. So now, you can see I still got five players to... Oh, and there's the new campaign right here. Very nice. And there, there's hidden ones you can't see yet. I can, I'll show you, for, ex, for instance, see these orange lines here and here? Those were hidden side quests. So player versus player, he's at 70. And let's add... Oh, I gotta research some more of these. Uh, let's add. Uh, let's add a heal this time. Or can I hold two now? I can hold two now. Awesome. Awesome. No, I don't want premium. That's not what I wanted. All right. And see, even when you scout, you can always visit another player's house and check it out like seeing how they've got their set up and he's got four there two there all right let's attack saint rebel let's get that out of the way and we'll go boom see oh he's got a drone that's what i wanted to show you in your defense in your garage you can add drones either shock, heal, attack. Oh, I might lose this. Oh, I should have been... Oh, 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 wow. I was not paying attention. But we won. Now, see, there's a good example. He had much lower power than I did. But the fact that he has his house, the drone, and I'll show you where to upgrade your drones and uh, create drones just to begin with. Another nice... Okay, you're doing good. It's in your garage here. So this is your defensive spot. You go in your garage, and it's your arsenal. So right now, I have mine on cryo drone. And what that does is right there, the drone hits enemies, stunning them for one second. Or I can put on poison. And a lot of times, all the ones that you saw them doing, this is the default one they're using. This is just a shot. And that actually hurt me really bad. So you know what? I'm going to switch mine back to that now that I've leveled up. And, like, look at all the stuff you can get. Like, this game is so huge. It's awesome. So these are all house defenses. Uh, but right now I only have drones. And to upgrade it, I have to upgrade my, my garage, uh, which I will do once I have a free builder. And you just go to upgrade, and you can see I've, I need 40,000 batteries though and that'll open up mines atomic mines crown mines awesome so and also if you go to your fight so now i got Haley open and all of these these aren't even the game just came out these aren't even ready yet oh and here's a good example see average roger potential so when you're mating that's why i said i can do three stars in the last two i got a one star and a two star this shows you your potential on your mating your Rogers together. Um, one legendary item received uh, four epics. That's awesome. So you go to fights, and out of the last 30, I believe it is, yeah, out of your last 30 PVPs, it keeps track. So you can see I have not, I think I've lost only two. Maybe I've lost three. 
Um, I'm just about to open the bazooka, and I'll show you where that is. I haven't even been able to open it yet. Oh, and i got to show you that morning mimosas, which is really fun. 15-player quick tournament. So here's the bazooka tank, which is still locked. Uh, situation room to level 6. And then I can open that up. Um, which is, you know, my situation room right here. Oh, and house editor. That's what we're, I was, see, I guess so. I digress so much. So you see all this junk here? You click on it and you spend like 500 or 750 bucks. And you can remove those. And it just takes like a minute or two. But just like the other shelter games. So, you know, you just... You can move stuff around as long as you have stairs or, again, adjoining doors. You can see the door to the other room and everything down here. You can clear everything. I could remake it, but I'll do that another time. So UFO Lab shows you the possible spots where you could build it. Now, since this is a double room to get through this, you don't see sales the doors closed. I would need a staircase here because... There's all the staircases, and you can keep going. Oh, I'm almost at the bottom now. So, you know, it's very similar to every other shelter game. But as you can see, I'll save it. Um, oh, I got an intruder, fire monster. Luckily, I have someone in that room. And this is also what happens in the other shelter games. You, know, you get an attack on a room that wasn't a player, that was just random enemy. All right. Um, now that made me completely forget what I wanted to do. Oh, hello. Um, but. Nice. But, this is the clan, the clan. We're going to do one of the mimosas. I remember that much. Let's check out my quests. So, the men, every, this. I got to wait till they're done upgrading. So, be involved watching ads. Oh, here's the tournament. I need uh, friends and win a victory at 10 invasion points. Oh, the invasions are the alien ones I was telling you about that I'd already finished for this today. So I just needed to reset. And you find those on the map. And instead of this little house here, it's a little alien ship. And they'll pop up in each one. So, before we go, so I just wanted to do an overview of the game. There's still so much more. Oh, I know what we were talking about. Crafting. Was that it? Um... It was an energy weapon. No, it was a melee weapon that I wanted to try and make a good one out of. Um, I need 30,000 batteries for that. Let's just double what I have now, so I'd have to spend shiny turds to do it instantly. So let's wait. And instead... Oh, it's timing. Um, uh, okay. All right. So I was just looking at all my rooms, just making sure. There's still so much to do, and I'm still learning. So, oh, and also, I don't know, did we? Oh, he's mad. Um, so there's global chat, and then clan chat. Oh, I did. We did. I did show you that. Everyone's looking good. Okay. So let's go check out a morning mimosa. Oh, before we do that, let me just see what the energy or the combat power is for these. Oh, 46. Let's do one. I don't need to add anything. Let's just level one of the next campaign. I'm just going to do it so it's open. Ooh, there's some new energy weapons I've never seen before. But still, I have just too much power. Beauty. And a chest. 
now we'll go do the morning mimosas and I'll let this video finish since it's gone on always longer than I expect. Oh, there's the new ones. Give away, I exposed my brain. Those are brains? I thought it was a large intestine on your head. <laughs> so let's open this first. Eh. Ooh, what did that be? That's new. It's a warrior set too. 9,000 health. Okay, before, even though it's only a, an uncommon, that is quite the difference. So let's check that out. Not him. His armor. There it is. So that's much higher. My damage would go up. So he's at 17987. Oh, he's level 22. So you're right down here. So I'll wait till I gotta put him in training, but I'll wait till after. Uh, when I'm not recording. Oh, junk falling out of the. <laughs> nice. See, and I just all I did was click the UFO. There's always hidden stuff. You always got to be on your background. Oh, oh no, that's the garage. All right, let's do the morning mimosa. Let's go to morning mimosas. And I have a ticket, so let's participate. And yes, yes, yes. So now, as you can see, it won for 15. So it's going to start pooling 15 players together. And usually it's pretty quick. And, well, maybe because it's 6 in the morning. Or what time is it, actually? Oh, my goodness, it's almost 8. Oh, there we go. 3 of 15. Now it should start filling up. 5 of 15. Yeah, here we go. So, yeah. So, as you can see, there's a general overview of this game. It's definitely pretty cool. And the last thing I'll leave it with is these tournaments. And all, you get tickets. And, you know, the daily rewards and in chests and stuff. But they're definitely fun because you actually get to pick who you want to fight and you know they may have less power than you then you don't get quite as many trophies for this tournament and and they're super quick too but it's the ability that you have choices to who you're going to fight and how much do you want to risk and how much you get for reward so I like that it's definitely a cool option so let's see these are all zeros they're not really in gold oh he's at 108 or she Treat is at 97, 93. Wow, they really bumped me up a tier since my last one. 101, oh my goodness. See, and the clock's ticking down. Oh, there's 78. I could definitely go with easy. And 77. That's 10 less. What about more cheese down here? I only got a minute left to pick my... Here, let's just fight this. And once you fight someone, you can't fight them again if you win. And I'll show you it'll I'll show you how it works after this battle. Now I picked someone who was less than me because I wanted to get one win in, just wanted to get on the board. So twenty nine points. You know, and you can get forty five as a max, but since I picked someone with so much less energy than me, or sorry, combat power. I only got 29 points for the stage one. There's five stages. That was stage one. And this is right here. You can see these are all the people fighting. Did anybody pick me? No, not on stage one. But there's me beating Honey. And you would see your name on this side when someone goes for you. Oh, Land's lost against Anton. And when you're also in a tournament, there's a tournament chat. So I'll just say good luck all. Oops. Good luck, everyone. 
So 38 seconds. So you can see my victory is gray down there. So I won't be able to pick honey again. Um, oh, I should be looking. So there's a 98. Violet, violet is 81. Yellow is a 71. Oh, let's just go with them first. Most I can get out of this one, though, is a 30. 5 to 30 in rewards. But I'm going to go with it for right now. I got a feeling one of those higher-ups are going to pick me to battle. They'll beat me, too. Oh, 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 oh. Um, who was I just looking at? Was it Treat or Violet Violet? No, no, it was Treat. No. Nope. Peter Lands? No. Nope. Was it Yellow? No. Nope. Oh, I'm in Bronze right now. This one, this yellow. So, as you see, there was two yellows. And what it does is if someone quits, it automatically puts a bot with their power into the game, an AI. So that way tournaments don't get canceled. Come on. Nice. Actually changing one of my gunslingers to an energy weapon that revives. I did add someone with a heal. Should have paid more attention. Now, has anybody picked me anywhere? Let's see. Ooh, Violent Violent beat me. Let's see how Violent Violent beat me. So I can replay this while we wait. So I can check out how this person beat me. Violent Violet. Oh, they beat me pretty handily. Oh, well, it was pretty close in the end, but... So, it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. You can peruse who you're going to fight. Okay, tournament three. It will be easy here. 78. More cheese is 79. Lands is 101. Peter, 98. This other land. So you can see all those lands is uh, there's a 15. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play it easy one battle after this. There was a heal. Come on, get them. Ah, oh, my legendary's on fire. I see what it's doing now. I saw the purple haze on the other one so depending on your if it's epic or legendary they glow accordingly that's cool i never noticed that before oh, i got bumped down into fifth let's see has anybody picked me again i beat alvin uh, violent violet picked me but no that's the only time they picked me but now that it's the People, you're running out of options, and a lot of people are way higher than me. So, oh, who should I? And they write, oh, they have less than me, but they beat me. They got that. Oh, look at that armor. And yeah, that's funky. 97. That lane says 108. This Peter's 98. Seal's 88. Easy 78. So, I'll wait till this battle's over here. Ah. Oh, I can see the healing. Last battle, so choose wisely here. Then, let's see, I just want to see if anybody's picked me to fight in this round. Oh, all right. 
let's just instead of perusing that, let's try and figure out who I could try and get revenge on. Yeah, but Violent Violet's got that. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go with Ansel here. What's his name? Anfield. Oh, but what I was saying when the sounds were going off. I like how they put bots in here if someone quits. Because, you know, a lot of games, if someone quits, the tournament restarts or you have to wait to re queue again. But this game. Just throws a bot right in there so no one has to wait. I like that. Oh, look at their armor. Uh oh. Oh, critical. Nice, nice critical hit. That was needed. Beauty. So, depending on how they all do, I might actually... I'm in fifth. I might make it. Although a fifth isn't bad, I just have to wait for it to finish and then we'll see the rewards. Oh, so here's the rules. You can, I won't read it out loud. You can pause this video and just read that right now if you want. So that's the tournament rules. Yeah, well, it's yellow. Well, nobody picked me again. That's good because I don't like. I don't want to lose points, right? And it's got one minute. Victory, victory, victory. And the reason I picked another easy one is because as long as you're in, I mean, these three get the most special rewards. But even this tier, as long as you finish in that tier, and this has some, but this, if you're in this row, you just get basic bottles, tournament bottles. To, you got to build them up. It's kind of like keys. But if you can stay at least in the top tiers, you do get a little extra rewards. But you want to be up here to get the extra chests. So we got 28 seconds. And no, nobody went for me. Nice. So, fifth, let's see where I finished. Hopefully I move up. I won't get third. But, hopefully I stay in this third tier here. Oh, I did too, by the chinny chin chin. 141. Oh, nice. So, I was sixth. And, you can... I'll claim this. This should bring out. There it is. There's the. Well, let's see for a second. Four to six. There's that tier. And then that one. After that, that bottom tier, no good. And as I've been playing, you get chests. Uh, I have one more ticket, but I, you can always get more. So I haven't even finished the season yet. And when you get bottles, then you can buy stuff like this. I don't even know what this does. Uh, prevents all enemies from using artifacts. Ooh, nice. You know, say use food, but I was using tickets, and I have lots of food, so, but you can get tickets all the time. So let's go to the mailbox and collect our rewards, and then there's some bottles from the tournament, and another two. Oh man, nice. And there's a claim that 15 keys. Nice. I'll take it. Uh, do not involve watching ads. Okay. Spread gifts to friends and 10 invasion points. All right. So. Is this. Let's have 14. Let's finish the bang for 14. And the only reason I wanted to do that was because... Yeah, 
upgrade. I wanted to show you. I got all that new stuff. Here it is. Banking, training lab, or cook. I always need money more than anything. So let's put a bankers in there. And I'm going to put it right beside my bank for now. That's going to take two hours. Perfect. Both builders are going. Awesome. All right. So once I learn more about the game, I will make another video. And hopefully, if you guys like the game, definitely join uh, Children of Chaos. Like all the other mobile games, it's open to everyone. It's just easy breezy fun. And... Uh, I hope everyone has a great day.